Hello everyone, welcome back to How I've Solved It video series of Clinical SAS Programming. In this video, we will see how to handle this condition, which is filter all records of subjects with a duplicate record in ADSL. So let us try to understand the requirement. So ADSL dataset is expected to have only one record per subject. Sometimes during the development of ADSL dataset, because of programming or data issues, we end up having more records per subjects per subject. So we need to examine all records of that subject to understand which variable derivation might probably have caused the issue, which means at the time of derivation of a particular variable, we might have programmatically done something wrong or there could be a data issue which is resulting in more than one record per subject. So we will see a few approaches of how to identify all such records. So here on the right hand side I have my sample ADSL data set in which there are three subjects 1001, 1002 and 1003. So if you look at this data there is only one record for 1001 and there are two records for 1002 and three records for 1003. So the requirement is to filter all records of subjects with a duplicate record in ADSL. So is there a duplicate record for 1001? No. So is there a duplicate record for 1002? Yes, there are two records. So for if there exists a duplicate, so we want to filter all records of 1002. It's not just the second record. So we want to filter all records of 1002 and then subject 1003. So is there a duplicate for 1003? Yes, there are two additional records. So which means there exists at least one duplicate. So if exists at least one duplicate, we want to filter all three records of that subject in this example. So let's see how we can do it. So we'll see three approaches. The first one is making use of no unique keys option on Proxot. So we might have used node op key in multiple instances, but no unique keys is less frequently used but option, but this exactly serves our purpose. So when we say no unique keys, so whatever variable is specified on the by statement, so it will check how many number of records are present for the by variable value combinations. If there exists more than one record, so all the records that of uh, that value in the u sub jd variable in this example would go and sit in your data set specified on out is equal to option. If there exists only one record in that combination of by variable values, so it goes and sits in unique in the data set specified on unique out under unique out is equal to. So here in this example, when I say by u sub jd, if there exists more than one record per subject in u sub jd value, all the records of that subject will go and sit in underscore x. And if there exists only one record for that u sub jd value, that subject's record would come in underscore y. So technically, our requirement was to filter all records of subjects with a duplicate record in ADSL. So we will have the required records in our underscore x data set. So let us, we have seen our ADSL data set. We have seen that subject 1002 has a duplicate and 1003 has at least one duplicate. So we wanted the, all the records of 1002 and all the records of 1003 to be in the output data set. So if we examine underscore x, so we have all such records, all records, two, there were two records in ADSL for 1002. Those two records are present here in underscore X. And for 1003, there were three records. So all three records of that data set are present in underscore X now. And if we take a look at Y, so when there exists only one record in the bio-variable combination, so it goes and sits in underscore Y. So we have only one record for that subject 1001. That's why we have that entry coming in the data set specified on unique out is equal to which is underscore y we have that record captured here so this is how you can make use of filtering all the records of a subject with a duplicate record in adsl by specifying u sub jd on the by statement so you can extend this logic to check if you want to check whether there exists more than one record within a lab test cd within a date per subject or more than one adverse event with the same start date uh, per subject. So you can employ such logic, uh, extend this logic to other such scenarios also. And then now we will see a second approach, which is to 
make use of first dot and last dot variables approach. So I am sorting my ADSL data set based on the values present in u sub jd. So technically when there exists only one record, the first dot u sub jd and last dot u sub jd will become true. And if there exists more than one record, on the first record, first dot u sub jd will become true. On the last record, last dot u sub jd will become true. So if we are expecting only one record, so per subject, we are interested in checking if first dot and last dot if that condition is not met which means that there exists more than one record per subject so what we are doing here is checking if first dot u sub jd and last dot u sub jd and applying a negative condition not condition for it so we are filtering all those records where first dot u sub jd and last dot u sub jd is not true so only those records are being outputted so let's understand how this works so is this the first record for subject 1001 yes is this the last record for subject 1001 yes so we are applying negation to it so only when this is not true so we are outputting that record will this record be outputted to the data set x1 no because on this record first dot u sub jd and last dot u sub jd is true so and then we are applying negation to it which means this condition will become false for 1001 so that record would not be output to underscore x1 and now let us try to understand it for subject 1002 so is this the first record for 1002 yes and we are also checking is this the last record for one subject 1002 is this the last record no so what would happen this condition would become false and then we are applying not to it so this will become true and this record would be outputted and when the second record of 1002 is being processed so what will happen is this the first record for 1002 no this condition will become false and is this the last record for 1002 so yes but this will become true only when both of them are true so this is combined condition is becoming false for second record of 1002 as well and then we are applying negation to it false and not so it will become true for 1002 second record and then that record would be outputted to underscore x1 and similarly the processing would happen for 1003 and this condition fails on all of the records here because there exists more than one record for 1003 so all three records should be outputted to x1 now let us take a look at x1 and see if we have all records of 1002 and all records of 1003 in x1 and no record for 1001 so yeah it's if you see there is no record for 1001 here because there exists only one record first dot and last dot new sub jd becomes true for that subject and that record is not outputted and for the other two subjects as there exists more than one record so this condition fails on all of the records and then all of them are returned to the output data set and now we will see a third approach to make use of proc sql so here what we are doing here is so we are creating a data set called x2 we are selecting all the variables from adsl and in addition to it we are creating a variable called count so count of all as count from adsl so we we are grouping the records based on the values present in u sub jd and then when we apply count function on group data set so it will count the total number of records within each unique value present in u sub jd and that value we are keeping in that variable called count so and then at the end we are filtering only those records which have a count value of greater than one so for subject 1002 and 1003 so the total number of records are two and three respectively but for 1001 it's only one so we are kind of fetching the total number of records and back merging it to the data set and then putting it in a variable called count and filtering only those rows where only those subjects where the count is greater than one so if we examine x2 will this will become clear so we have counted how many number of records are there for 1002 and merged it across all records of that subject that is how the underlying logic works with this proc scale code so we have two records for 1002 and three records for 1003 so all the on all the rows all the rows of that subject the value is populated and then we are using having 
count of greater than one so for one double zero one count would have been only one and then for we as we are filtering were greater than one so all the records of one double zero two and one double zero three get outputted into the output data set so you can extend this logic to even when you have more than one by group variable in a similar fashion all these three approaches are extendable so all you need to specify is additional by variables here with the proc sort no unique keys or additional by variables here in the first dot and last dot approach and you may have to tweak the first dot instead of use object if you have additional by variables like test cd or a term so you would use those specific variables here in this logic thank you for watching and keep learning